This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. You coming with us, Sam? Yes, sir. All right, time to go. What? Just do what he Goodbye, says. Bye, buddy. No, no, let me, let me come with him. I, I promise I'd never leave him. It'll be okay, buddy. Please. You guys take care of each other and do what he says, okay? Please. I don't think so, kid. I was hoping they'd run and hide once we left. Because no matter what we do with the horsemen. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out, right? We're always going to lose. Morgan knows what he's doing. Morgan cauterized his fingers with a heated hatchet. Myself, Morgan seemed to be reliving past burdens and was trying to deal with his inner demons. This isn't the first time I've had to do this. They're gonna pay, buddy. By God, they will, and we're going to get Sam back. Maybe not now or tomorrow, but we're going to. He'll be alright, he's strong. Stronger than all of us, maybe. He'll be fine. He won't break. <laughs> We just need a few days to take care of ourselves. You... You take care of... Calvary, and... I'll stay with you. We don't have any choices, Bunny. I wanted to run. After that girl showed up, I wanted to go. I wanted to leave you all here. It wasn't my fight. But now, after what I've seen, I need to finish this. Even if... wasn't on you. Let me do it. No! <clears throat> he trusted me. He trusted me with his life. With... <clears throat> he know. He know what he was doing. Should have been me. He deserved to be here still. I'm the one that needs to be. I've paid my dues, which I can do, pay back what I've done. A shallow grave doesn't mean any more or less. No, get away from him. Go. Go, go help Brett. Brett needs it. I've... Every time, every time I'm with a group of people in that, but... I'm left alone. You help him. You keep him alive. I take care of the dead like I always have. Like I always will. Yes, you wish, Morgan.
While trying to get back on their feet, they were also trying to find info for the horsemen and hope to get me back. So far, it was all dead ends. <sighs> Running out of time. I hope he's alright. Well, I'm sure he's being resilient as his usual self. It's just I, I still can't understand how we got into this situation. It's just a mess. We didn't do anything. It just happened. We still have to find them. I promised. And I don't break my promises. <sighs> I just wish we had more manpower. I've <laughs> never uh, really counted on numbers before, but it just seems like we have no other choice. <laughs> right about that. Alright, he'll guide the way. I hope you're right, Morgan. I really do. All I know is we're gonna get Sam back. It's the last thing we do. Mm hmm. Let's just hope it isn't the last thing, though. They wouldn't quit or run away to save their own asses. They continue trying to find info, or at least know where they might be holding me. But everywhere they went, nothing. And little by little, they were starting to lose hope. One thing's for sure, they would stop at nothing get me back safe. Where, where are we anyway? Oh, there's a road sign up ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, we're just out the story. You know what? This is Mogilevka. I know exactly where we are. You can read you're in a Russian. Being here so long, I've only picked up on a few things, mostly just names of towns, otherwise, nope. But, uh, we're actually close to somewhere that I think might be able to help, if it's, uh, any interest, I mean. I don't know. Do you trust them? It's been a good while, and it's a bit of a long shot, I'll admit, but I know a guy, and I really do think he could help us. He's not too far from here, just, uh, just down the road. At least he once was. Well, to be honest, I guess we sort of need all the help we can get right now, so... Yeah, well, hell not. What do you think, Morgan? Hmm, not sure. Find out soon enough. I'll take the lead on it, and if things go badly, then I accept full responsibility. Just follow my lead. He, he really is a good person. It's just, uh, it's been a while. I might have to, uh, dust him off a bit. Lead the way. Hmm, okay, it's just down this way. It's just that brown house right up on the ridge. What has been here has been mopping up all the infectants. They look fresh. Yeah. He's a very skilled person in that regard. I, uh, I wouldn't put it past him. And that's why I think he'd, uh, be a good asset for us, you know? We'll be alright. Just stick by me. I, I've got this. Oh, great. I thought I killed all the people that just trespassed. <clears throat> Quaid? Well, I am the esteemed Dr. Richard Quaid, greatest in all of Trinaris. Kinda fell upon the shit end of the stick in life, right? You know, someone just like me, maybe, who, uh, you know, just doesn't get a chance with other people. People look at you like you're a fucking disease. You are down a path that's only gonna lead to your eventual demise. Who? Richard Quaid? I <coughs> Quaid's not home. He doesn't live here anymore. Oh, my goodness. Quaid, I know that's you. Please. What? What? There is no Quaid here at all. You are mistaken. What the fuck do you want? You better be selling me some Girl Scout cookies. Otherwise, you see those corpses along the road? Would you like to become that pile of bodies? How do you know who Quaid is? Well, I knew you once long ago as, as you would put it, the esteemed. Dr. Richard Quaid. Is that ring a yeah. bell? <sighs> Hi. Yeah. Ring the bell. <sighs> okay. Got that out of the way. Do you remember who I am? 
<laughs> oh, you sneaky little devil, you, you sneaky little devil. I see what you did. Goodness. You brought an ambush to kidnap me, didn't you? No. Hmm? That's, that's not it. This was not our intent at all. We need to find Sam. If this guy's gonna play games, I don't need to be here. Is this what it is? Is this all over again what happened to me a year ago? Hmm? And then all of a sudden, setting me up. Is that what you did? Hmm? Red, drop this it. This guy's a nutcase. Why are we gonna trust this guy? But everyone, please, hmm? just stop. What group sent you to fucking take me out? Hmm? None. Who? Nobody no wants you, you nutcase. We need your help. That's what we came here for. My help? You need my help. Well, look at that. You need my help. My help. My help is needed to save the day. Wow. Look at that. When everything's well, we going the great, bottom of the barrel. shut the fuck up. You can leave anytime you want to. And that's where you're wrong, because I need to find Sam, and I can't without your help, apparently, from what he says. So, I'm gonna wait. Who the fuck is Sam? That's why we came to talk with you. He's a friend of ours. He's in really, really bad trouble, and I didn't know where else to go. You, with your history, with the things you've done, it's... My history? <laughs> Explain my history. What history do you think that I actually have? Your reputation precedes you as a person who is very, uh... Reputation? Uh, you just know how to do things your own very strategic manner, and you can get things out of tight places, I? and uh, I don't know how else to word it. You're just... You know how to get jobs just, done, just, just and they're not clean at all. We're not sure if we have to kill people or what. We just need your help. So you're saying I'm the type of guy that can get my hands dirty. You don't want to get your hands dirty, buddy? Haven't I taught you anything about uh, anything? So you do remember me, then? Of course. How could I forget your silly little blue hat? It's not that we're afraid to get our hands dirty. It's just I don't think we have enough hands at all. Who the fuck is that guy and then Mr. Big Mouth? Who are they? Hmm? Your little bodyguards? No, right here on my right is Morgan, and it's right at him that's Red. They're just friends of mine, they're not bodyguards or anything. We're all just traveling together, and our friend needs help. Oh, so you came to dig up old Quaid just to save some friends. I don't know, and I can probably give two shits about. Sorry you wasted your time. Damn it, boy. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. There you go. There was an off on me. How's it been, buddy? I'm sorry, I've been away a long time. I know I haven't visited you. It's very rude of me. I know it's been a while. Come on. Yeah, so... Um, sorry, I'm still tired. Yeah, no, no, I understand. I mean, you went through quite an ordeal. That's why I gave you a little downtime here, you know? I figured you'd sit around, relax. Has, uh, Kristoff been treating you well? Kristoff, you been treating this man well? Yes, sir. Good, 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 good. So, as of yet, I've heard nothing from your friends. Uh, not a good sign, but, you know, I did give them a week, so. We have a few more days, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do it. I'm sure they'll get things done for you, right? You know, I actually I have someone I need you to meet. This this venture I dive into. I didn't do it solo. I have a, a partner, you could say. Braxton, have you met this guy yet? Were you there when they first captured him? Oh yeah, I do remember this man. Sam, why don't you explain, in your own words, to my friend here, Mr. Knight, what kind of arrangement yourself and I have going on right now? Yes, sir. Um, you see, uh, I'm here because I did not do my job, the one I was required to do, correctly. And now my friends are in shit because of me. Now they must do my job and give information, otherwise I think I'm a dead man. Somebody thinks that making a stand is the right thing to do. Even when all the odds look against them, people die. I realize that now, sir. And now you have to live with that for the rest of your life. That because of your actions, others died. Well, it seems that it's not in his hands anymore. He's going to get a little taste of what it feels like to have his life in other people's hands now. Good, I, I enjoy it. Come here, come here real quick, Braxton. Shh, Sam, you stay right there. Yes, sir. Don't go anywhere. It seemed like Austin had a kick out of taunting me. I don't really care what happens to this guy one way or the other. Do uh, you know Buddy? Have you met him before? Yeah, and, yeah, young kid. Yeah, that stupid fuck's working with the hick. I thought he was, like, always by himself. Yeah, that's what I thought until I saw him. <laughs> I'll be honest. Buddy's probably not doing too good right now. Buddy had to do some things. 
Hey, can you hear me in there, Sam? What buddy have to do? Buddy had to gut our friend alive. Oh shit! I wasn't there for that shit. That sounds very gnarly. <laughs> hey, Sam, you looking all right? Cause I'm fine. Really? Cause you don't look fine. Looks like you got a problem with what I'm talking about. It's just something you want to say, Sam. And you know what I said about lying to me? No, sir. I was just. I was just a little distressed. The loss of my friend, it, you just reminded me is all. I'm sorry. Good, just remember that you can lose a whole lot more. Pain in my ass. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at, look at little Fox here. I mean, come on. She, she still has a lot to learn. Actually, oh, I kind yeah. of agree. She did seem a bit... <sighs> not as interested in doing what needed to be done when we were at the tower. Jesus Like Christ. that. Just nearly got herself got fucking swiped. Good shot, sir. Thank you. Did I ever tell you, Austin, that uh, when I used to competitively shoot? No, you did not. Is that what they fucking do in I, Texas? I swear. Um, yeah, a lot of people shoot in Texas, but no, I... I was actually a uh, runner. I was uh, the alternate for the 2008 Olympic team. Had a lot of a lot of issues. Couldn't make it. What were those issues? Like my dad died of cancer. You really want to bring no, this shit up right. now? All right. Well. Yeah. All right. Listen. Don't don't look at me like that. Don't take it out on me. Go take it out on fucking. Yeah, I'm gonna. The hick boy. I'm gonna give me a drink. Me. I'm gonna give me. I'm gonna give me a drink of water on that. Before you bring up past issues, man. Come here, Sam. Between me, you and me? Fuck that shit, who cares? I mean, really. Sam, if, if close person to you dies, don't you ever let it influence what you can and can't do? You shut the fuck up, and you move on. I've uh, tried many times. It's harder, for me anyway. In time, you'll find that it gets easier. As you lose more and more, you never really told me what exactly you were doing here. Because I remember the first time you asked, I asked you when we were doing our little, you know, when me and my girl snuck in and all that shit. You were very closed mouth. But now, I think it's time that you maybe tell me exactly what you're doing around here. What's your purpose here? I came here because I was looking for my brother. A man called Quinn Bauer. He was a pretty famous country singer. He unfortunately came to this crap hole. I uh, found a way to get here. It took me months. I stayed in a small hole, barely enough room for me to even lay still. I slept in my own fucking piss. Vomit even. I've endured it. I've killed many people too. Austin, I know what's going on here. This is something else, Sam. This is beyond that, a little bit. And, you know, by the end of this, you'll realize it. And if I think that you fully realize it, maybe I'll let you live. I was done trying. I would just say yes to anything so he'd shut his arrogant mouth. That, and I don't want to die. This is Christoph. Christoph, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? I know you're not the sociable type, but... There's not much to say. My name is Christoph. I come from Novigrad. I used to beat the foreigners on the daily. Shit goes sour, and now I'm here. See, this man with that rifle in the right place, he can protect an entire group of people for days. I mean, anything we need him to. And he listens. If I told him to walk in there and kill you, he'd kill you. Second. Like... Done. That's a good man right there. Honestly, I just, I, I, it's like a little bit of bragging. I love to brag about my little crew of, of excellent course. people. Of course. People just respect hungry. the, respect what we do and don't want to be on the uh, opposing force, I guess you could say. It takes a, I'd say it puts more fear into people when you show examples rather than just hurting the person themselves because they get to physically see what we are capable of and what will happen to them. I like I like giving people that one last chance to really think about what they're doing. Yeah, right, of course. Fuck me. Hmm? Just stand there for a couple of minutes. I need to take a leak. Yeah. And then Austin put me to the test. Here, watch. Hold on one second. So I want you to take a step back. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now, Sam, I'm gonna leave this door open. I'm gonna go get a drink. My friends will come with me. Now, you stay right where you are. You stay right there. You do that, won't you, Sam? Yes, sir. Oi, what are you exactly doing here? After you. Come to drink. Today was a bad day to take a drink, to say the least. That's when I heard a stranger outside. 
Or should I say, a distraction. Kristoff, check the perimeter. This may be the only chance out. But if I'm caught, they'll kill me and then the others. You don't have any friends, do you, buddy? No, no, no friends at all. Come over here. Fuck, it's too late now. Oh, look. Sam's still in his cell. What a surprise. What's, what's your name, friend? Uh, name's Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, meet Sam. Yeah. Sam, come to the fucking window. Yes, sir. Come here. Uh, hi. Sam, meet Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Pleasure to meet you. What, what's going on? Oh, no, nothing, nothing. Sam, why don't you explain where Kyle is right now? You're on the, uh, horseman territory. Not a good territory to yeah. be on. I thought the horsemen were not controlling this area anymore. Mmm, good, good, good. See, these are the type of things we have to tell our enemies. So you thought just because I had vacated the general area that you could come here when I'm not around? Is that what you thought? No, I thought I was just seeing something I don't remember us putting a for sale sign on our fucking territory. I, I wasn't gonna take it or anything. I'm just coming here to get something to drink. I was just really, really thirsty. No, you're just drinking my water. That's what you're saying. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Sam, why, why don't you tell them what happens to people who generally trespass on our territory? Listen, kid, you're in a world of hurt. I'm just gonna break it down to you right now. What do you mean? It means this, you stupid fuck. Okay. Alright. Sam, get your ass out here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why'd you knock me out? Ow. Oh no, shh, shh, shh. it's okay. Hey, you <sighs> fell. I'm sorry. Now come here. Come here. Why am I? I, I, I why am I tied up? Get up. Ah. Get on your fucking knees. Good, good boy. Now, Sam. <sighs> usually, for something like this, I'd use a tool personally because I don't want to get my hands dirty. But you're not worthy of using tools, Sam. Catch my drift, Sam. <sighs> Yes, sir. Good. Now, if you don't fucking do this or you hesitate, I will fucking destroy every single one of those motherfuckers back at your little camp. Slowly. Starting with Buddy. And then I'll kill you. Last. Please, don't. What do you want me to do? Oh. Oh, my head. I want you to look at this guy right in his big old eyes, and I want you to stick your thumbs into his fucking eye sockets and gore them out. That's what I want you to do, no. Sam. Please, please. What? Do you want to lose no, your please, tongue as no. well? No, no, I, no, no, I don't. Please, no. Uh. Uh. Don't worry, Sam. I have faith in you. Is the hesitating? We're not going to kill him, right? I don't really think, uh, that matters, does it? I, mean, I think you I were think given an order. I, I think you're saying this to hesitate. No, uh, I'm not. Just, uh, I just want to know how much pain to deliver and how long you want me to give it to him. How much pain do you think that's going to deliver, Sam? Stop with the fucking semantics and get to work, Sam. I'm sorry, kid. This is gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. Uh, sorry, kid. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I'll spare the details, but he made me torture this young man for what seemed like forever. Sir, if we keep doing this, he will die. Sam, I think you missed the intention of all this. You are slowly killing this man. Well, don't you shake your head at me, Sam. Have you not been realizing what you've been doing this entire time? This man's gonna die. It's, he's already way past, he already gouged his eye out and shit. He's done. His life is over and you've started that process, Sam. I, I don't want to kill an innocent man, sir. Kristoff. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to kill an innocent man. Is he hesitating <sighs> again? Yeah, he's hesitating, Kristoff. I don't Please like that. Don't, don't make me do this. Do I go over to his camp or...? Mm. Say so what? If he hesitates again, and why don't you take that rifle to his camp and kill? I don't know. Kill the black one. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> uh, uh, don't, 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 sorry, Sam. kid. Uh, mm. 
finish him off. Why don't you finish this poor soul off, Sam? Oh, that kid's gonna be a mess, though. Your name's Sam, right? Just protect your I don't want to leave this world, but if it's to save people, I'll do it. You got a good heart, kid. One swing is all it took to behead him and stop his suffering. Outside, I stayed firm, but inside, I was losing it. You're gonna sit there and look at what you've done, make sure you remember. Kristoff dropped Kyle's head in the toilet. I figured that was a good place to place that bottom up. <laughs> hmm. Yes, sir. Come here, Sam. I want to tell you something. A little secret about what just happened. Sam, if you would have said no, if you would have said, I will not do it, I would have let that guy go. But you wouldn't have let my friends go. Maybe. But you didn't think to stand up for yourself at all. I'm only you doing really what you broken, ask huh? of me. Of course, of course, yeah. It makes you kind of a little bitch, doesn't it? You seem like a bit of a pussy to me, Sam. Yeah. Why don't you look... Shh, why don't you look at what you've done, sit on that bed there, just contemplate what a little bitch you've become. Tell me, Sam, would your brother be proud? I don't know, sir. I can sure as hell tell you he wouldn't. You put shame to your family, to your friends, to your group. You're nothing, Sam. I'll leave you with that. Have a good night. Sweet dreams, Sam. Yeah. I got you. Why do you do this? Why do you follow another man's orders? To me, it personally, does not even matter to me anymore. What side doesn't matter really. As long as I'm killing you for an invader, I'm fine. You probably just at the wrong side. It's not your fault. Anyone else could be here instead of you. But, I mean, he's done a lot for me. He's done a lot for, for his friends, for his family. I, I get it. Survival of the together. fittest. You guys just chose the strongest side. I don't know how my friends are going to do it. I'm pretty sure we're all dead already. Uh, I hope they're not. Good night. Don't let him kill, buddy, please. If you can do something, please. Don't let him kill, buddy. Alright, please. I can't make any promises. 